Welcome to the Print Runner instructional video detailing how to use the EPS template guide file in Adobe Illustrator CS4. Using these template files is highly recommended in order to ensure that your document passes our file preparation requirements. They include guidelines to help you set your text and images to include the correct bleed and safety area. In this example, we are going to use the business card template to make a two-sided business card. On the Print Runner website, click on the link for the product you are ordering. On that product page, navigate to the template link and click on it. The link will take you directly to the set of templates for that product. Click on the link for the EPS template under the Illustrator column or right click to download onto your desktop. Extract the zipped template file by double clicking or right clicking and opening an extracting program such as WinZip or Stuff It. Open the extracted EPS in Illustrator. View all the details in the template guide so you understand what each line means. Go to the Window menu and choose the Layers palette. You'll notice that there are two layers, one to place your artwork and on the other where the guides are located. It is very beneficial to use these properly. Start off by locking the guides layer and then selecting your artwork layer so all your actions will only be on that layer. Now you are ready to start creating your artwork. You can either A, create the artwork from scratch in Illustrator, or B, copy and paste from an existing AI or EPS file and then make the adjustments you need, or C, go to the file menu and place a TIFF, JPEG, or EPS, or AI into that template, but you will not be able to move individual pieces around because they are flattened. You can always reduce or enlarge the entire piece though. In my example, I'm going to create a file from scratch. This will give you Illustrator beginners some good tips on how to work within the program. However, keep in mind, these instructions are to show you how to use the template file, not how to use Illustrator. You will see as I'm working here that I've dragged the guide layer on top so I can see the bleed, cut, and safety lines. If the lines in the template layer have a fill that covers the background, simply select that line then go to the colors palette and change the white fill to none as I've done here. I've also locked the art layer and then gone into the guides layer and removed all the info so all that is left is the lines for red, green, and blue. This helps to avoid all the clutter and makes things easier to see.
You will also see that as I'm placing the picture, I have the option of making it bleed past the red cut line or placing it in the blue safe area line to keep the black margin. Whatever you do, do not place it directly on the red cut line as this can cause issues in cutting. Here's a little tip for you. When you are typesetting your information, you can copy and paste the text boxes so you can keep the formatting for the font and type size. You may just need to change the alignment style, that's all. So now, I'm going to make a second artboard for the back side. I'm keeping the same background color as the front, so with both layers unlocked, I'm going to click on the artboard tool, and then go up to the measurement palette, and click the small icon to move or copy the artwork with the artboard. 
and you will see that when I hold down the option key and drag the artboard that it also drags the content too. For more about artboards you can visit the video clip on working with artboards. And from there, I will lock the guides layer and then start selecting the content I don't need to delete it. So, before you save your document, select the guides layer and delete it. This will not only avoid parts of the template from actually accidentally printing, but will also reduce the overall file size. Now, you are ready to save the file. Go to the file menu and choose save as. Although it is okay to save your file in AI or EPS format, we recommend you choose PDF format as it will embed your fonts and graphics. If you do choose AI or EPS, please outline your fonts and embed any links so they won't be missing when the file gets to us. If you save as a PDF, please see the video clip on how to save as a print ready PDF from Illustrator. Thanks for watching this clip. Hope it was very informative. If you have any other questions or issues, you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of our help topics. Thank you.